So take your two um, toilet roll um, tubes and cut them into three pieces each. Now if you need some help, get a grown up to help you cutting these. We want to create six little mini tubes from these two toilet roll um, tubes here. Squash them back into shape and then grab some paint. You can either use pen or paint here. I'm painting five of them green and one is going to be bright red. So once you've coated them in some paint, you'll also need to leave them to dry. You won't be able to use any glue on them if they're still wet. So give them a good paint of, uh, give them a good coat of paint or pens or tissue paper with some PVA glue, however you want to, and it doesn't have to be green and red. You could do a purple one, a blue one, a yellow one, whatever you'd like. So you can see I'm working very quickly here just to paint my tubes all green. Beautiful. One last one is going to be red and that's going to be for his head. So here we go. Well done. Okay guys, so you also want to cut out a red and a green circle from some card and then cut out some interesting shapes. So I've got two little purple almost bunny ears, I've got a little green oval, two bigger green ovals and two yellow ovals and I'm going to create a face. So onto the back of my red circle I'm going to stick my antennae for my caterpillar, my bunny ears almost. I'm sticking them from the back so that they pop out of his head. You can use a little bit of tape to secure them too if you need. There's his little antennae. Now to get onto the hungry caterpillar's face, that little green oval is going to be his nose. So apply some glue, stick it down, and then also take your large yellow ovals that you can see here, two of them. Stick them on, and then on top you're going to place your green smaller ovals, and those are going to create his eyes. Ooh, sticky fingers. Good. So once you've created his face, you want to set it aside just to let the glue dry, or you can use tape if you want to, to help stick these down. Um, and then we can move on to assembling his body once your green tubes and your red tube is dry. Make sure to put the lid on your glue so it doesn't dry out. And there you have his little face. There's his little face. So moving on to his body, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the green circle onto one of my green tubes. And that's going to be his bottom, the end of him. You can use a stapler or some tape too if you don't have any prick stick. And in fact, I added a staple to mine to keep them on. Then you want to add his red, uh, your red head circle onto the red tube. Again, using lots of glue, a stapler or some tape if you'd like. So that means that we've created his head and his bottom and we're ready to assemble him all together. Just like that. So next I'm going to take my um, pipe cleaner and I'm going to stick it into the inside of my tubes so that when I move him he can wiggle around like a caterpillar should. So what I'm using is a bit of tape. You can use a glue stick or a glue gun would work really well for this but you can always just use some tape. I'm sticking the pipe cleaner to the bottom of my tubes so that when I move him he's gonna um, wiggle from wiggle from the top of his body all the way to his bottom. So you're gonna thread your tubes on, leave a little gap in between each one. 
properly and once they're all stuck on they should look like this. Now you need your two lollipop sticks, one to stick on his head and one to stick on his body. You want to stick them towards the lower end of his um, the tube so that you can hold on to it like a handle. I've also cut some little yellow feet. I cut out four little booties that I'm going to stick on to. Beautiful. Once you've stuck on your lollipop sticks for handles, you'll be able to play with him once he's dry. And there you go, he's ready to wiggle and jiggle and eat all that food and get ready to grow into a butterfly. Hope you enjoyed this project, I'll see you next week guys, bye!